Hey, happy holidays. Hope you're having a great holiday week. But we're right in the midst of it tomorrow, New Year's Eve. So this, we're starting to do a little cleanup around the holidays, right? People are starting to get rid of the trees and stuff. So a couple things just right off the top of my head that cause problems for people. We're still cleaning up, having those late gift. Don't throw this in the fireplace because anything that, uh, like wrapping paper, can throw flames up above the damper. And if you have creosote buildup, you can get a flu fire. And that's the same. And I know, I know it's really tempting to take greens because the Christmas tree is dry now and cut up and start throwing it on the fire. But it becomes such an intense fire. Again, you can have that same problem with, with the uh, flu. So tempting don't do it all right recycle your tree take it over to one of the parks you can figure out which one is accepting trees now this if you do have trouble we do a lot of uh, you know this time of year we use our fireplaces if you are having trouble with smoke coming back in the house try to try to preheat your flu and you do that by just taking a small log or you can do different things something very small and let that heat the flu up and that will help the fireplace draw the smoke up. So if you are experiencing a problem where you feel like the cold air is pushing the smoke back in the house, try preheating it. That's something that'll, that might help. Now, space heaters this time of year, you hear it all the time about space heaters and, and being careful with them. The one thing about space heaters, no matter which one, if you're plugging into a regular wall outlet, no matter whether it's $30 or $100, they're producing the same amount of heat. It's 1,500 watts, all right? so. It's just how they distribute the heat is the difference in the heaters. But as far as electrical needs, it's the same. And you always hear, don't ever use an extension cord, and that is excellent advice. You never want to use an extension cord on one of these because the problem with cords, you know, you use too light of cords. This is drawing 1,500 watts. That's almost using up an entire circuit. Then people look at this. Even though this is an indoor cord, some will go, well, I'm going to use this heavy-duty one. These are the same. They're 16 gauge. It's just this has OSHA color that can be used outside, but it's the exact same. So this is really just a household cord. You would have to go up to a 12 gauge or a 14 gauge cord to even get close to the needs that you would need, but still not a, a good idea. And I know that sometimes there's no other way to do it. So if you're using it, never leave it on overnight. Always use a 14 or 12 gauge cord. Did I say don't use an extension cord? That's really what I'm telling you. Now, moving forward, New Year's resolution. LED bulbs have become so popular, and I know this is a bunch of random information, but have you seen the people that get a hold of two different LEDs? These things have uh, the, the light tone, and they're not all incandescent. This one right here, the soft, is more like an incandescent bulb that we use. This one is like 5,000 Kelvin. So you ever see the people that have two, two lights, one's really white and one's kind of that, that hue of an incandescent? Let's clean those up, all right? Pay attention on the back. There's always a, a little light scale here that'll tell you how bright these things are. And if you're looking for incandescence, 2,700 to, to 3,000 Kelvin is what you're looking for. Smoke detectors in everybody's room, bedrooms. Uh, I would replace them after 10 years and kind of get, this is a great time of year to kind of tighten up on those things. And I know when I burnt my house down with a toaster a couple years ago, sure wish I would have had a fire extinguisher. And you know what? If you buy a fire extinguisher, hang it somewhere so you know where it is. So just a few things. Hope you enjoy the rest of your holidays.